Massachusetts calling in the National Guard to deal with the quote humanitarian crisis after just 50 migrants arrived in Martha's Vineyard. Now, California Governor Gavin Newsom wants GOP governors like Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida and Texas Governor Greg Abbott to be charged with kidnapping for relocating migrants to liberal cities. So what charges should the federal government face then for secretly transporting illegal immigrants across the country? You know, that's been going on for the past year. Our next guest exposed the Biden administration's secret migrant flights to his state. Former Westchester County New York executive Rob Astorino joins us now. Uh, Rob, great to see you this morning. The word that's being thrown hey, around, and I believe Cav uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom is used as kidnapping. So <laughs> are those to be applied universally? Definitely federal kidnapping charges, um, definitely uh, human trafficking by the Biden administration. We can go on and on and on. Uh, we probably run out of um, crimes to charge them with. Um, but I think, you know, I just want to go back to what you guys were talking about before. This is presentism by the progressives. Because a year ago, when I was talking about this, showed the video of what was happening, they were dead silent. All they did was call me a racist and a hater and all this other nonsense. And it was happening right into our own neighborhoods here in Westchester County. It also went to Stewart International Airport, these flights, which is a New York state controlled Port Authority Airport. So Governor Hochul was in on it. Um, and so this is nothing new to us. The, these migrants are coming into our schools. They're coming into our hospitals. Uh, they are getting into housing. All these benefits they're already been getting for a year. So now that they go to Martha's Vineyard, and by the way, great job, Governor DeSantis, the uh, progressives can't take it. And so now they're going ballistic, which proves two things. One, they admit there's a problem. And two, they are inadequate. They are inept to handle this problem. So, Rob, in your estimation, explain the difference in reaction from a year ago to today. Is it simply that now the other political party is doing it? No question. So, yeah, I had a press conference August 13th of 21 outside Westchester County Airport, and I had video, which you have used uh, um, at nighttime, these flights coming in, but also at broad daylight, we caught some, and we followed the buses of where they were being transported all over the place, just getting into cars. You know, the buses would stop at a throughway rest stop, and there would be all these waiting cars for them to get into, and off they would go. And we got no answers whatsoever. And when I said this and demanded answers to our questions, I was called a hater, a racist, you know, all the, the typical racist stuff that they say. Um, and but I pursued. I wrote a letter to President Biden February 1st of this year. Still zip nothing. No answers whatsoever. Uh, I asked the, the governor of New York to trigger a law here that she has the ability to demand that any person here illegally, any foreign national that comes in here uh, must register with the state. Actually, it's an alien, it's called in the New York law. You must register with New York State within one day. That would stop it in New York, but of course she's not doing it because New York's a sanctuary right. state and city. And the same thing with Mayor Adams in New York City. They've been coming into New York City through Catholic charities and other non-government uh, organizations for the last year, but not a peep, but now, they have to deal with what everyone else on the southern border has to deal with. And it is a massive burden that we're not prepared to do, nor should we. Really quickly, Rob, less than 30 seconds. How do you think it ends up playing politically? There are many on the left that are saying this has backfired on Ron DeSantis. They yeah. actually see a victory in this, or at least pretend to see a victory in this fight. Not at all. You have normal people of all political stripes saying, hey, what the hell is going on here? Um, I can tell you in my kids' uh, high school, in their classrooms, they've got five or so each, you know, 20 new kids in the classroom that don't speak any English. They're getting services. Parents of all stripes are saying mm. enough is enough. Rob Astorino, thank you so much for reminding us what's been taking place for the past 12 <laughs> months. Thanks, Will. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.